Okay, everybody, by request, I'm going to do an impromptu video about Easter Eggers versus Americanas. Americana is a true breed with only, oh gosh, what is it, eight accepted colors. I have to look back. Um, they have a standard of perfection. They have certain eye color, which is reddish bay. They have only slate legs. They never have green legs, ever. They only lay blue eggs, some fa some form of blue egg. It can be a light blue, uh, deep blue, turquoise blue, but they've got to be blue. They can't be green. Americanas do not lay green eggs. Easter eggers, on the other hand, can lay uh, any color egg, have any color's leg, any color eyes, any color plumage, although they usually have the what I call the wild pattern plumage. Um, there are two Easter, Easter eggers in this group of old hens. Um, this right here, let me see if I can get to see, see what I'm doing here. Um, let me see, that girl right there is ten and a half years old. She's an Easter egger. This girl here, this other one, uh, I, I wish I could see you better, Moretta. Moretta. Hey, Moretta. That girl is an Easter egger. However, she is one half blue wheat and Americana. So she is one half to Americana, one half Easter egger. And therefore, she is considered an Easter egger. She does lay a turquoise blue egg. But she has true Americana as one parent. June lay, June doesn't lay much anymore. She is, uh, she's always laid very large, very just plain medium green eggs. Um, there are differences. Now, I do have two true Americanas. They do come in, let me see if I can remember the eight colors off the top of my head. They got, uh, blue, black, white, wheaten, blue wheaten, and I, oh gosh, I'm losing, I'm trying to figure out what, I, can, I don't have my piece of paper in front of me. That always annoys me when I hear it crinkle on the video. But, oh my goodness, Neela! But there's only, um, there is a standard for an Americana, a true Americana. Breeders have had arguments for years with hatcheries. Almost all hatcheries, if they call it Americanas or Americana Oricana, which is a, a third, another breed entirely, and really doesn't look like an Americana, uh, if they say Americana Oricana, and they say they can lay green eggs, they have all kinds of plumage, they are selling Easter eggers. Don't let them lie to you. They have lied to people for years. Breeders have called them on it. And finally, some hatcheries are starting to offer actual true Americanas. And aside beside their Easter eggers, and they call them different things. Um, Moretta over there, because she is a, she's half uh, Blue Wheaton uh, Americana, she, her coloring is very similar to a Blue Wheaton Americana hen, but it's not exact. Um, she does have slate legs, and they have white skin. They don't ever have yellow legs. That's where you get the green legs from in Easter eggers, is because they have yellow skin. You won't get green legs in a white-legged bird, a white-skinned bird. That's what I'm trying to say. So um, those are my Easter eggers now. Uh, June came from a breeder who was trying to work on a salmon Americana color. I don't know that that was ever really created very well. But obviously she came out looking more like just a regular old hatchery Easter egger. Um, I love my Easter eggers. I mean, she was the a great layer. She didn't lay till she was about 40 weeks old, however. Um, but she laid consistently, consistently up until about a couple of years ago when she started having soft egg issues. But that's, you know, she's almost 11 years old. Um, uh, Moretta, on the other hand over there, she is seven and a half years old. And she doesn't lay a whole lot anymore. She does lay a few eggs a year, uh, on and off. Uh, but anyway, let me uh, let me stop this and let me show you my uh, black Americana hen who is, uh, again, she'll be 11 years old next month. I don't know if you can see her. Gypsy, come here! This is Gypsy. She is a black Americana from a breeder out of Washington State. She'll be 11 years old next month. She hasn't laid an egg in a couple of years. It's going to be noisy. I'm in the barn. She's not in the same group as the others. I can't let her out in the daylight. I hope you can at least see her a little bit. Hey, Gyps. Come here, Gypsy. Can you stand up? She has, she, her eye color is a little dark. Uh, it's not the best eye color. She does have slate legs and white skin. She's got good conformation. And she did lay a, uh, she did lay a blue egg. 
greenish blue egg, but it was in the blue family. And I have one more, a splash. But she's very old and she's very crippled with arthritis. This is Snow. I had some person on eBay, some expensive hatching egg seller, steal her photograph from the web, put their own watermark on it. Somebody alerted me to it. Uh, this is a picture of when she was a lot younger than this. And uh, they called me, said, hey, isn't this your hen, Snow? <laughs> I said, yes, it is. And so they were reported to eBay, and uh, so many people who knew her sent them cease and desist warnings. But anyway, um, so these are both true Americanas. They were not sisters, but they are from the same general line. Okay. So I'm back outside now. Uh, June here. Uh, she's, the, she, I don't know, I'm trying to think, um, generally, I think Easter Eggers might be slightly better layers than the true Americanas, but that pretty much goes for most birds, I do think. I think the hatchery birds are more bred for laying than others are. Um, I don't know, but June, you know, she's, she was an excellent layer of very, very, you know, I guess jumbo-sized green eggs. And my Americana's eggs were always a good bit smaller in size. They were maybe medium to maybe large, depending. Um, in any case, uh, when, a, when a hatchery, when June, you're limping, girl, you okay? They get arthritis in their hock joints when they get up to that age, a lot of them. And that's, the, my Splash Americana is actually extremely crippled. She can't really walk. She kind of flaps and hops around with her wings, so uh, I have to pe keep her in a cage so she's not bothered by other other birds. But, um, you know, they, they're they both great. Americana is a true breed. Of Easter Egger is a mixed genetic bag. Uh, if a hatchery says something about Oricana, an Oricana is a whole different breed than Americana. An Oricana is more rare. They do not have beards. They have ear tufts. T-U-F-T-S, tufts, that come out of a little special organ on the side of their faces. They don't have ear muffs like an Americana. They do lay blue eggs, but they are a, a totally different and more rare breed than Americana even. Uh, Easter eggers are common as pennies around here. So, um, And there's nothing wrong with either one of them. But, uh, you know, just it helps to know what you have, especially if you want to sell hatching eggs. Don't mislabel your Easter eggers as Americanas. I don't care what the hatchery told you. Hatcheries um, are responsible for a lot of misinformation. So, I uh, hope this is going to satisfy the people who said they would really rather see real birds and, you know, living birds and hear my voice. I don't know why you want to hear this voice, but there you are. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, my, they're so old that I'm really going to miss them when they're gone. I really, really like them. I really love my Easter Eggers and my Americanas. Um, and actually, I have another Easter Egger who is actually a uh, Bard Rock father over a blue Americana mother. Actually, it's Gypsy's mother, my black Americana. It was her mother, her blue mother. And uh, she looks like a barred bird with no beard. She has all those combination single pea combs that uh, often single cross with pea get. You know, it's kind of a very tall pea comb. She laid uh, little green eggs, and uh, she's also going to be 11 years old in in the spring. So I'm running an old hen's retirement home and hospice around here. And this blue rock here is very crippled, too. You can see how she limps around. I know, Neela. I'm talking about you, darling. Well, that's there it is. There you go. Easter eggers versus Americanas, two different things. Easter eggers are not a true breed. They're just uh, a mixed bag. Um, great birds, fun birds, but you know, it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get when you ask for when you order Easter eggers. But um, enjoy your birds, whatever you have. Chickens are fun, period. Talk to you later.